Good morning, happy Wednesday, lovely poets. Welcome to English on Wednesday. We're all about sustain poets today. Sustain. So, let's have a look at what they have to be. Well, you're going to have to choose a word that goes on the end of each line and you're going to have six lines in your stanza so it's all about choosing six words I've got a whole bunch here that you might wish to choose from so you might choose a place like a house kitchen church shop playground mountain tree house tent a place is a really useful thing to have in it a person and I don't mean the name of a person but a brother or aunt or son or daughter or mum a person in it's quite good one older and one younger that can help with this then uh, a sort of a, a smaller place within your place a stove or a fire a table a window a cupboard another thing that you might want to look out for a radio or a book or a newspaper and finally something that people do or comes out of people tears blood laughter giggles screams things which come out of them so we might need those how are we going to use those well a sustained poem has six words that you've chosen i've chosen mine here kitchen mum child window and radio and laugh and I put them in that order exactly. There's a reason I put them in that order because they come on the end of the lines in my first verse. Let me show you that first verse and it'll make more sense to you. She stood in the middle of the kitchen. Are you hungry? asked her mum. Nod, nod, nod went the head of the child. They both spotted a robin outside of the window. A silly song sang out on the radio. They both began to laugh. So you can see I've got six lines and on the end of the first line is kitchen. On the end of the second line is mum. On the end of the third line is child. On the end of the fourth line is window. On the end of the fifth line is radio. And on the end of the sixth line is laugh. And we're going to write our first stanza today. A verse or a stanza is a little chunk like this. And in this case, it's got six lines in it. That's what we're going to write. But it's really important to think ahead and choose what those final words are because they're going to crop up and repeat as we go through. In fact, you'll see them in every verse because there's going to be six verses or six stanzas. So the second verse goes like this. The room filled with that laughter. Their giggles filled every corner of the kitchen. But then the news began on the radio and caught the attention of the mum. Sun filtering in through the window warmed the smiling face of the child. An idea popped into the head of the child and stopped her laugh. It was a cat she now saw through the window. A cat stalking a robin outside the kitchen. She wanted to warn her mum. But she was lost in the news on the radio. The girl only enjoyed songs on the radio. News is boring to a child. But she saw tears in the eyes of her mum. How could she again make her laugh? The cat prowled closer to the kitchen. And she watched without breathing through the window. Climbing onto a chair, she banged her knuckles on the window, even louder than the radio. The cat froze, looking at the kitchen, glaring at the child, who began again to laugh. The robin flew away. It escaped, Mum. Mum? 
She pointed out the window. But like the robin, something else had flown. Her laugh. It was terrible news on the radio. She couldn't understand it all. She was only a child. But she could tell from her mother's face there in the kitchen. So, you see the words repeating at the end of each line. And not only do they repeat at the end of each line, they must repeat in a very specific pattern. So, in verse 1, we've got kitchen, mum, child, window, radio and laugh. And I chose those out of my bank of words up here. All we're going to do today is write verse 1, stanza 1. There's our stanza 1 right here. She stood in the middle of the kitchen. Are you hungry? asked her mum. Nod, 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 went the head of the child. They both spotted a robin outside of the window. A silly song sang out on the radio. They both began to laugh. So, our first job is to think of the six words that we really wish to use. I'll show you the word bank up here, but don't feel like you have to choose out of this. But it gives you some good ideas to go with. Pause the video and take two or three minutes to choose your six words now. Welcome back. Well done. I hope you've chosen your six words. Okay. Your aim now is to write your stanza and get your words to end up on the end of each line. Don't worry too much if you can't get them there at the end. Because what you could do is write your six lines and then look at the words which have fallen on the end of each line. And you might choose those words to use. But there's a reason that you choose places and people and things like windows and radios because they're easier to use over and over again. There is no rhyming structure. Kitchen doesn't rhyme with child or mum or window. So there's no need to try and make them rhyme. You've got no limit on how many syllables you can have in each of the lines. There simply must be six lines in the stanza. Let's get writing stanza number one. Good luck and I hope to hear your stanza number one in a few minutes once you've written them.